I wanted to share with you a, an experimental iPhone app application I'm building um, called Social Cloud. It's uh, right now it's running on a, just a simulator on a Mac, but uh, I hope to for it to be on the App Store soon. So right now it shows Twitter feeds in a text cloud, which means that for those words that appear many times, for example, this Bahrain is a little bit larger. I click on that, it shows me um, that that particular text appears multiple times as highlighted here. And um, in this case, it's the New York Times. And so if, if I were to be interested in any of these particular um, New York Times articles, I can click on that and it would actually go out to um, that particular page. I guess this link goes to that um, Twitter website, but if I click on another link, it goes to that particular website that that link has. So it's very much like Twitter. The difference being, instead of going to a particular um, tweet, you can actually view um, the, the Twitter messages displayed in a cloud with uh, emphasis on certain words that occur a lot. So right now I just have one user as a test. So if I were to click on this add button, it shows me that I have that one user. But I can add more um, users. These are from my own personal account. So with your account, you would have your own friends here. So for example, let's say if I were to add um, CNN. So now I have both uh, the Times, New York Times, and CNN. And if I were to click done, it's going to actually redraw the cloud, feeding in all the new um, latest, I think it's um, the latest 20 messages from each user. So now, as you can see, there's two different colors, the green and the red, representing the two different users. And those that are, appear in black means that they come from more than one, in this case, both um, accounts. So if I were to click on that brain again, I see that it occurs both on the Times and the CNN um, Twitter feeds. If I were to click on any of the green one, for example, Egypt, it shows me um, the ones for CNN only. So the CNN account has those, um, similar to the word killed. But if I were to go to um, a red one as before, um, it's a little bit small here, but warns is a text that only appears on the um, Times account. So I can go back and add more users, um, more of my friends, the one that I'm following. So, for example, I use SAS software, so let me add a couple relating to SAS. So let me scroll down here and um, choose a user that, um, for example, Wynette, she publishes a lot of tweets. So now when I click on done, it's actually feeding a lot more, um, four different users in this case. Um, two being news feeds and the other ones dealing with SAS. So as you can see, the word SAS appears in um, uh, black. So that means it, it appears many times, both in this SAS user, I'm sorry, um, and also, if I scroll down, also Annette has words about SAS. So um, that might be useful, but it also has the previous feeds from um, the Egypt, for example, for the CNN and so forth. So it tries to find the text that occurs the most. Uh, so Bahrain is still there in, in the news. Uh, and then it, it feeds it to you, highlighting those that are um, larger with those that are more prevalent and smaller one that occurs um, not as often. So you know, each user can configure it to their own account and they can get a snapshot view of the latest Twitter feed um, displayed in a, a word cloud.